Well, so far I've, uh, my, my life has been built on sport. Um, growing up in the bush in Australia, so everything was played Aussie rules in the winter and tennis and cricket in the summer and, and I did a recreation degree. Um, so it was all about that, that love for sport um, and then got involved in the health and fitness industry, um, promoting physical activity and, and so for the last 25 years we've uh, just been promoting people to be more active, whether it's going to leisure centres, whether it's exercising outdoors and, and we've sort of like uh, touched over a million people around the world to, to encourage them to do that. And then about Four or five years ago, um, I launched MyZone, which is a, a wearable technology to increase um, people to uh, to exercise um, and encourage them to. Uh, it's like a wearable tech that encourages people to be more physically active, irrespective of where they do, what sport they play, or how they actually uh, achieve the World Health guidelines. Yeah, well, look, you know, when you look at participation, there's there's probably three things that you want to look at. You know, one is you've got the delivery of the activity, which is the sport, or, or then you've got the feedback and then also the data. And, and what we're able, up until now, has been, or the technology, has, has all been focused on the uh, on the actual, uh, the getting that feedback and then also the data but but now the big thing now is is where it actually merges into delivery as well so taking away that um, that need of uh, of actually sporting organizations and so that's that's where the uh, the elephant in the room lies is is uh, it becomes a delivery partner um, as, as well as a feedback and data collection Uh, the future of wearables, it's, it's all about big data. You know, big data is massive. Um, you know, the more sensors that you have, the, um, the more data that you have. You know, currently, um, the, the speed of, um, of compression of data, um, the, the transmission of that data being so easy, means that uh, there are more devices that can be a lot smaller and a lot more wearable, so to speak. You know, if you imagine what the very first computer was, you know, um, which is probably the size of you know, uh, this whole room, um, that was, uh, you know, however many years ago. Nowadays, you can get that same level computer, you know, on a, on a microchip. Um, so what that means is that um, the data that, that can be collected is, is amounts, is, is absolutely immense. And so it's the big question is, what do people do with that data? Um, yeah, look, I, I think the, the, the the big thing is to is to look at the wider picture, um, and I think there's a lot of merging between all activities, whether it's um, fitness or physical activity, um, or sport and um, recreation, um, and also wearable. It's all about getting more people more active more often, and, and and that alignment of that goal, I think you know new people coming into the industry need to be aware that it it's not just about the four walls of a facility um, or the four um, the activities of that sport. It's it's far reaching beyond that. I, I think um, if you say you're going to do something, do it. Um, and if you're not going to do something, don't say that you do it. And, and I think that's important. You know, there's there's a lot of words out there, but there's not necessarily the follow through. And uh, and I think that's the that's the one thing. And and also um, risks. Take risks. Step up and and, and step up to the plate, um, and take action. That's that's an important thing as well. I must admit, I, 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 defining moments. Um, Pat Rafter in uh, in Wimbledon. He was in the uh, I think it was uh, the semi final, however many years ago, um, and uh, there was a call. It was 30 all in the final set, and uh, there was a call that uh, that actually went in his favour. Um, that the the ball was actually uh, the ball was in. He missed it, but the umpire called it out, and and he actually overruled the umpire and said. Um, no, that, that actual ball was in, it's your point mate. And, and that there was, was, you know, when you imagine everyone that desire for win, to win and all this, I think that was one single moment where I, I, I just thought, hey, that, that, is, that is pretty cool, you know, and that's, you know, that whole thing of, um, of uh, leadership and, you know, he said far more to the children of, of the world than, you know, a lot of these um, 
temperamental footballers, you know, with their antics or, or these sports with, you know, tats from, from eyebrow to, uh, to toe. I, I think they're, you know, true, true role model.